when the dog barks and the phone rings, it's not always the case that the dog barking made the phone ring. The one thing about humor is I love it. I think it's got to be part of your personality. Uh, th so there's two things about it. Um, I don't like things that are quips. It's either funny or it's not funny, right? So if it's like a chuckle, I don't like the use of it. It'll be, but my stuff is very high stakes and I'm really looking to emotionally motivate someone to a decision tree. And so I like to really, if it's funny, then it's funny, right? But if it's just like, uh, yeah, that's, yeah. So one, and the second thing is no jokes. Like you can use humor, you can be funny, you can point out. So humor is a topic for a different day, but um, humor is truth and pain. That's, That's right. You know, if you go study the Waynes brothers, they grew up, I think, all in a one room uh, spot, like nine of them, and they're all successful. They have brutal childhood, but they're some of the funniest uh, people ever. So from pain comes the hilarity. But yeah, don't tell knock knock jokes and don't do the crocodile don't thing, but be jokes. witty. Be witty. Yeah. This one I haven't seen though. I haven't made that a policy, but you're right. My stuff is just, it's sort of funny. Uh, this rep quit, this big company, he sent the lyrics to Justin uh, Bieber, what do you mean? Just the lyrics. The deal closed. He literally left the company the next day and it was one of his biggest deals that he let loose and he just did something bold and crazy and the prospect loved it. <laughs> well, I so, so here's what happens with humor. We can finish on this. You know, when the dog barks and the phone rings, it's not always the case that the dog barking made the phone ring. <laughs> so yeah. the people say, yeah, I, I, so, you know, I told this joke and it closed the deal. Oh, how about the financial model and the pitch you gave and the, you know, 17 years That's of business true. and That's the, true. you know, $770 million in revenue you have at a 10% EBITDA and a 40% growth rate, you know, but, oh yeah, of course it was the joke that closed the deal. So, you know, whenever I hear that, you know, a joke or something funny closed a deal, I always sort of wonder if the dog barking made the phone ring. Uh, but, but I think ultimately most people are not capable of telling a joke in the origination process that would in any way um, um, <laughs> move it forward. If you're planning to become a deal maker at this level, make sure to join the Daily Deal Maker. We get into one little piece of this daily. And so you're just stacking and stacking and stacking these tools and tactics and strategies until they come out of you as naturally as they come out of me and the people that I work with. Add the tips, tools, strategies, tactics, a little bit every day. And by the end of a year, be a totally different, new, improved person and a very strong deal maker.